Let's talk a little bit about trusts and taxation. There are two kinds of trusts that matter when we're talking about taxation, and that's revocable trusts, also known as living trusts, and irrevocable trusts. Now, when you create a revocable trust, you are the grantor. That means you're the one who's creating it. It's also known as the settlor, and you are making a contract, an agreement with the trustee, who also happens to be you, to hold whatever funds and assets are in the trust on behalf of the beneficiary, who is also you. So you're the grantor, the trustee, and the beneficiary. And because of that, the trust is really flexible. You can take things in, put things in, take things out. There's really no limitation to how you interact with the trust. And because of that, because you could cancel the trust at any moment, revoke it if you want, it's called revocable, uh, because of that, there's no tax consequences. Uh, the trust operates under your social security number and it's just as if um, the assets were owned by you with regard to taxation. Now, an irrevocable trust is different. With an irrevocable trust, you create the trust, you name a trustee, and you ask them to hold the assets on behalf of a beneficiary. And an irrevocable trust cannot be revoked. So once you put assets into the trust, those assets are no longer your assets. You can't take them out. And the trust is a separate tax paying entity. Trusts that pay taxes, pay high taxes. Recently, it's been as high as 37% of any income that the trust makes. So a trust pays really high taxes, but it also provides really great asset protection because the assets that end up in an irrevocable trust, they can't be taken away by creditors, by say um, an ex-spouse or bankruptcy. So it's a great way of protecting funds for the future. The tax consequences can be dealt with in various ways when you create an irrevocable trust. So in general, from a tax perspective, that's the difference between a revocable and irrevocable trust. A revocable trust, no taxation, because you can put things in and take things out. An irrevocable trust, you can't take things out. There is taxation, but they also provide substantial asset protection. Feel free to call me if you'd like to chat further about this.